What the American people ought to pray is that somebody can't make the vote tonight. That's what they ought to pray. I don't know if the senator from Ohio heard or is aware of a statement made earlier today by our colleague from Oklahoma, Senator Coburn, who came to the floor and said, what the American people ought to pray is that somebody can't make the vote tonight. That's what they ought to pray. I have been trying to reach Senator Coburn because he is on a committee that I serve on and I work with him. This statement troubles me and I'm trying to reach him to come back to the floor and explain exactly what he meant about a senator being unable to make the vote tonight. I don't know if the senator uh, from Ohio is uh, familiar with this statement, but I'm reaching out to Senator Coburn. I'll be on the floor in the next 45 minutes and I hope that he will join me there and I thank the senator from Ohio for yielding. I want to renew my invitation to Senator Coburn of Oklahoma to please come to the floor, but to do it soon before my time expires. I called his office <clears throat> to make sure that he knew I was trying to reach him. I've spoken on the floor to alert the Republican side that I wanted to ask him to explain a statement which he made on the floor earlier today. The statement by Senator Coburn of Oklahoma said, what the American people ought to pray is that somebody can't make the vote tonight. That's what they ought to pray. Uh, I am troubled by this statement. I want to give the senator from Oklahoma an opportunity to explain it because the simple reality is that uh, I don't think we should be wishing misfortune on any of our Senate colleagues on either side of the aisle. I don't know if this was an innocent statement or something that he now wants to clarify, but as stated, uh, it troubles me. It troubles me because I'm afraid it reflects the situation we find ourselves in too office, often in the United States Senate where people are literally invoking God's name and prayer uh, for political purposes in, in this case to wish misfortune on one of our colleagues. I don't think it's appropriate to be invoking prayer to wish misfortune on a colleague and I want him to clarify that. I've invited him, I've tried to reach out to him. Uh, he is my friend and I have worked with him but uh, this statement goes too far. The simple reality is this. We are becoming more coarse and more divided here. It is understandable that we would disagree on political issues. That happens all the time. But unfortunately, we've allowed that political disagreement to spill over into our personal relationships and friendships here. And that really does hurt this institution. We rely on one another on both sides of the aisle so much uh, I would say from the start that Senator Reid has offered to the Republican side of the aisle accommodations uh, and asked that we try to do things that might help the families and individuals who are in the Senate, and we've not had any luck to date. But hope springs eternal. I hope Senator Coburn can make it to the floor to explain his statement.